This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. Sal Capaccio here, and I love a true success story, especially one that's homegrown right here in Western New York. So let me tell you about a special business, Speed Global Services. You've probably seen their trucks in our area, and you never really knew what they did. Well, their story began when the Savarino family came to Buffalo from Sicily over 100 years ago. They operated as a local grocery store and began to pick up and deliver goods for other businesses in Buffalo, eventually becoming Speed Motor Express. Express, a really important part of the community's distribution and hauling needs. Now today, they're known as Speed Global Services, and they provide trucking services to anywhere in the U.S., international air freight and ocean services, plus they have access to millions of square feet of warehousing for their customers. I've seen it right here in western New York. Very impressive. Today, Speed is still owned and operated by the Savarino family, and they'll still deliver in Buffalo, but if you need them to, they can deliver anywhere in the world. That's right around the corner or right around the world. Speed delivers. For more information about Speed Global Services, visit speedgs.com. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Speed Global Services out of Buffalo, New York. Yes, sir. This company is a full logistics and trucking company located up in Buffalo, New York. Make sure you ask about their multiple locations when you talk to them. This family-owned logistics company provides supply chain management and global logistics solutions. It started by a family out of Sicily over a hundred years ago. Kind of remind me of the Godfather. Speed Global Services has been founded in 1946 and has grown to be the U.S. and Canada leading 3PL provider. If you guys want to know more about Global Speed Services, stay tuned. Interesting to know more about the position, if any, that you have available out there. Okay. And are you looking for local or over the road? Okay. Um, so you live in Ohio? Yes. Okay. Um, the only problem is we don't let our trucks, I mean, we only use our truck for um, clearly commercial use. You can't take the trucks home. And we're in Buffalo, New York. Who do you have to drive here every day to pick up your truck? Oh, so this will be an every day? Oh, yeah, that's right, because you just mentioned that I won't be able to take the truck home. Correct. So even if you are over the road, everything comes out of this location or one of our various locations, depending on where you are picking up or delivering to. Um, so say, for instance, our over the road. Our over the road starts at, in Buffalo, New York, um, probably the location. I'm not sure which location you you were at the other day, um, but we have a sister facility in Linden, or um, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Linden, um, New Jersey, where that's home every other day. So you pretty much, you know, would drive like six and a half hours. Um, do your downtime or depending, you know, your, your driving abilities. Some people can drive straight through, turn around, you know, wait for them to get unloaded. Um, and then if they have to be reloaded to come back, um, and then some guys will turn around and come back, you know, right away. Um, typically that one is about two to three runs per week, but the only thing is you would have to drive that two hours to come and get your truck. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We don't. Unfortunately, we don't participate with them. Trucks being um, brought back every day. Is this uh, like a sleeper truck that we have or would it be a, a day cab? The over the road is a sleeper. Typically, you're home every other day. So depending if you, you know, depending your logging time or um, you know, your abilities on the road, whatever. Um, you can turn around and come back. Um, you would be in a sleeper. And then if you are staying out over the road, um, you would actually sleep right on our property in Linden. 
How much experience are you guys looking for? We look for at least a year. Pre-employment drug screening, hair follicles, urine, or both? Um, they do drug, um, I think they do, can you give me one second? I'm actually at the window. Hold on one second, okay? So we do, um, you would be um, sent to a location, so one of the, the physical locations. We don't do it on site. So I think they just do urine. I, don't quote me on that. I know they do, it's a DOT regulation, so whatever, um, you know, the regulatory is, I'm not sure if Ohio and New York is different. They might, I think it's just urine. Uh, do you guys run Canada? We do run Canada. Oh. Are you interested in driving Canada? I, hey, I never been there, but I, if I'm, if I'm going to drive Canada, I guess I'm going to need to get my passport. Sure. Um, not necessarily, if you do over the road, not necessarily would you be Canada. Um, we do have a sister facility, um, in Canada that we do transport to, um, usually our locals go to Canada. Um, but you know, Hey, you're over the road. Sometimes people are looking for additional cause our over the road is mileage. So, you know, sometimes people, you know, in between their, their times, you know, if they have the adequate time left where they can make the run to Canada, um, by all means. Um, I mean, that's definitely something, you know, if you were to interview, we can talk more about. Now, for me to make the jump out to uh, Buffalo, New York, what's yeah. the pay? It depends. So, so over, are you interested in over the road or are you looking to come out here and drive local all day? Let's say over the road. Okay, over the road, l tell me what type of, do you have any end endorsements? Okay, so over the road, we would require has, um, as well as tanker. Um, do you have tanker experience? Yes, I do have tanker experience. Okay, so we don't run, so there's another opportunity, but clearly if you're looking for over the road, we also run tanker, which is, um, Lackawanna, New York, that is a home every day, um, Buffalo, New York, to uh, Hamilton, Ontario, which is Canada. Um, there is incentive there in, that's considered a local um, on the tanker aspect. So we would pay, if you have tanker experience, we would pay the additional. That would go off of a Class A um, starting rate. So I'll give the example. If you were looking for a tanker, for, per se, we don't run anywhere else with tanker except for to Canada right now. It's not has. Um, we actually transport um, liquid sugar. So it's like corn syrup or whatever. Um, there is, so our class A would start at $22 an hour and we build off of that on what you're driving. So for instance, additional 350 for tanker and there's also Canadian incentive. Um, so that could be something, you know, if you have experience, something to think about. Um, where the over the road is mileage, that we would only consider, um, I don't know if we would consider your tanker because we're not running tanker over the road. Um, once you obtained your has, it would be 54 cents a mile. Without has, which we would require, and then if we brought you on board, you would be responsible to get it within 90 days. Um, so without has until you obtain, you would 53 cents a mile and then you jump up to 54. If you have tanker as well, the tanker endorsement we would put, um, we would honor, I forget about that, the uh, hazmat and tanker, we would do 55 cents a mile. So if you're looking like Linden, that's about 2,500, 2,200 to 2,500 miles a week. How would the miles be calculated? Would it be zip to zip or practical? definitely practical i mean you're gonna be on time so you know what i mean um if it takes you i mean ideally we want you to get there safely as soon as possible but you know everyone has different driving abilities it can be done in six and a half hours um if you're not a straight runner and you need to stop and you know do breaks or whatever um as long as you're meeting the the required time of drop off you know, to get it there because they go to the port. They then take off um, the containers to the port um, to ship overseas. Um, I mean, it's, you know, you're, 
you're clocking in and then once you get there, you know what I mean? You're paid for your mileage. As far as getting the dispatch, you already mentioned the fact that we would get, uh, we would start at Buffalo, New York, pretty much. Uh, Correct. Is, is there any conversation for the cell phone use? If you're, if y'all send information through the through the cell phone, like through our personal cell phones, like if we got to get one use of them of micro your- points and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think we compensate for cell. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, clearly the all, we only request like hands free, you know, clearly because of the New York State laws. I'm not sure of the Ohio laws, but um, yeah. So I'm not real. I don't think we compensate for sale. All right. Are the trucks governed? Absolutely. What what they're governed at? Sixty five. How? Whoa! How? What what they governing at? 65. Oh, 65. I thought you said 55. 65. I was, <laughs> 65. I was about to say, whoa. Uh, you guys no, have... No, 65, because primarily the 90 or wherever you're going, so primarily 90 is like 65 miles an hour, so... Gotcha. Uh, do you guys have cameras in the truck? Absolutely. All right. Benefits. Uh, and when do they start? Benefits are available after 30 days of service on a full time. So clearly, all of our pretty much everybody we hire is pretty much full time. They're available after 30 days of service. We do offer medical, dental, um, vision, as well as life insurance and short term disability. And then 401k is after six months. Pet and rider policy. No pets allowed in the vehicles or rider. All right. Do you guys have any type of team opportunities there or no? No, we're all solo. All right. And I guess my last question for you, do you guys have a, well, two questions. Sorry about that. Uh, do you guys have a sign-on bonus? Not right now, we don't. The only incentives that we do have is a safety bonus after one year of service. They actually do it, I think, two times a year with the drivers, and it goes by scoring. So, you know, if you didn't have any accidents, incidents, you know, violations, um, your timing, no call-ins, they look at everything. There is an incentive up to $1,500 a year. All this, you need a year of experience to drive. Y'all y'all at not bringing on no, no brand new drivers out of school. Absolutely not. No, it's a, it's a insurance regulation. Gotcha. Well, hey, thank you very much. I really appreciate the time. I do appreciate the call back. All right. Thanks for calling. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Let's talk about it. Speed Global Services, everybody. Now, the reason why i reached out to this company is because we had a load up in buffalo new york and i was amazed at how many trucks that was coming in and out of the yard and i was also amazed at the fact that they had their own trucking company so i was like hmm let me see what Speed Global Service is about. So, as you guys know, this is a over-the-road and or local position, but you will have to bring the trucks back and leave the trucks at the yard as they don't require you to take your truck home. So if you live close to Buffalo, New York, it will work out a little good for you. But if you're like me, about two hours away, you're looking at two hours there, two hours back, you're looking at about four hours, you know, it it just not going to work for a person like me that's out of Ohio. But of course, if you're from Buffalo, New York or upper New York area, it might just work out for you. This company is offering free meal plans, $2,000 safety bonus, an annual bonus. They do have holiday pay, orientation pay. 
They have great home time, which you, if you a local driver, you'll be home every day. And if you're an over-the-road driver, you will be home every other day. They also have runs up in Canada. So you will be doing a little bit of Canada if you're over the road and you will be doing a lot in Canada if you're local. Now here's the caveat to working for Speed Global Services. They require you to have your tanker and hazmat. So if you don't have your hazmat, they will offer you to get it for 90 days if you're not able to get it within the 90 days you can pretty much kiss that job goodbye now they'll give you a chance but i'm just saying if you can't get it then they they won't keep you on but they'll keep you on for 90 days until you get it the amount of a local driver if i'm not mistaken is 22 dollars an hour and the amount for over the road driver is anywhere between 50 to 55 cent per mile. They have weekly pay and 401k as well as consistent and steady freight. So if you guys are interested in global or speed global services out of Buffalo, New York, their information will be in the description below. Tell them a lockout men sent you. Drivers, if you driven or drive for global or speed, <laughs> I keep saying global, speed global services, let us know of your experience with the company. Is it a good experience, bad experience? Let us know. Drivers. Get your suggestions in now for the Nets MTC. You know how to do it by Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Or as always, you can leave it in a comment session. Or if you like to support the cause, you can do that by Cash App, Dollar Sign, Lockout Men. Let us know in the notes who you would like for us to review for the Nets MTC. T-C. Until next time, everybody. Who's next?